Alright, good afternoon universe. This is Alex Soto once again for another edition of Articulate Barbarian. We have an extra special bunch of knuckleheads up in here today represent South Florida, the Miami Heat. This is Mr. What is it? Everybody and good night and Mr. Mateo. Say your names, where you're from, what you represent. Alright, well first off, man. Thanks for having us here, and shout out to you guys out there. And it's the 305 we repping out here in Miami. Miami Heat. It's like when it was D-Wade, LeBron, yeah, and Bob. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> they like, might think that. They might think you go around Dragic, and I'm nah, like, nah, uh, you, you, what, Theo Dion Waiters? <laughs> <laughs> So like, for a split second, hey, I was like, damn, you messed up our niggas. I was like, damn, I hope we get a, to see, get yeah, to see our own names out I'm first. I'm glad you oh, said I'm 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 Roger. You're definitely Chris Bosh in the, in the like, good heat. Yeah. yeah. So have yeah. we established who we are for the universe? But I'm John Everyman. <laughs> John Everyman. Yeah, I'm Mr. Goodnight with two T's. I spell it like that because I'm in it. I'm Mateo, a.k.a. Cashton Kutcher, a.k.a. Plug O' Cotton on. I didn't even know that, but that's like that's new. That's a discovery. New. Like we we somewhere else right now, so we get to learn about that, right? So my peoples are coming up. I literally got the reach out. I had a room that I do every week. Shout out Orange Bossman, uh, free naughty comedy show, and uh, we had a we had a we had an opportunity for them to come up, and we're doing kind of like a mini tour. I'm gonna be bringing some cameras, and we're gonna be doing a little shooting for both our podcasts. You guys have a podcast. You guys are from South Florida. Y'all brought some pastelillos. Yeah. I brought. Um, I set a couple aside for my diabetic daddy so he could have himself a little third shift red eye on his own when I take him over there to him. So, uh, yes, folks, this is fucking Miami all yeah, the way. Be Miami as fuck out here. You man. can tell because these guys are like half asleep standing up because they're so smooth. They're so like, what's up, man? I'm like, oh shit, Miami's in the house. Yeah, man, it's that pimp shit. So what's up, guys? What are you up to? What do you what do you what do you, what do you buy? Well, first off, I mean. We out here right now, and this has been an experience. Yeah, how you like it? I've never been up to the villages yeah. or Summerfield. We're in Summerfield, Summerfield right now, right? South Marin County, 352, baby, tonight. 352, yeah. 352. That, yeah, and yeah, you know, we've been just baby. kind of discovering this, man. We've been checking it out, and it's like really different. That is Yeah, it's sure. cool. We've been out here. I've been learning, like, you know, because whenever you go somewhere, you got to learn the news there. So you got to figure out what's, what's the price on the weed there, how much gold teeth cost. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't think you see that about the gold teeth, but I'll, yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know cost here. Well, actually, but if you buy the really expensive set, they're usually about three twenty-five for the upper half. Three hundred twenty-five dollars. Yeah. Is that expensive? I don't even know what the gold. I, mean, I, yeah, I, think I don't think it's expensive if you're buying really, really, really high and shit. But I think it's expensive because there's a lot of detail in it. But I don't know if I would leave the shit in my mouth for too long. What's the fair market value going to? I mean, it depends, because you can melt down that gold. I mean, like, if you really ball, you can have 18 carats in your mouth. So that's, like, almost $60 a tooth right there. You know when you go to an urban barbershop, that same poster that's up at every fucking barbershop with all the pictures, including Teal down on the bottom right with his fucking pigtail and the goddamn Oh, swoosh. with the fucking dead ass? No, with that burgundy red hair dude. And like, ba -da -ba -ba. like, I've seen the shit. The point is... When you go to this dude's one cat that has the gold teeth place, it's the same poster except it's all different types. It's and, all different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the barbershop one. So you have to kind of look yeah. through it, and then he has a catalog, and then they'll even like put the little letters in it, or do your name or whatever. I'd be real with you though. I think it's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of I just can't take you seriously, man. Your hard hair cut messed up your boy. Nah, you know what? When I was younger, I wanted one. Like I wanted like a gold tooth. Yeah, that's just like it. Like, gold tooth is this. different. I, wait, wait, are we talking about the same thing? This is that thing. No, no, no. Clip it on yeah. your teeth. Yeah, that gold mouth, like a mouth type teeth. shit. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Piece. Is that what you are? Are you talking about? Like I, I'm down with a gold tooth with like a a spade in it. They call it pull ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah pull ups. That's yeah. Like a like when you go boxing, except it's full of fucking metal and the jewelry. No, I think I would have done. I would. I would have never done the actual gold tooth. I want to do like. I would have done the the I'm so confused now. I'm so interested in what you're talking about right, right now. The grills, they would snap on and snap off. You take them on and off whenever you want. Oh, pull outs. Right. That's yeah. what we had up here. Yeah, we got that down there, right. too. Yeah, you know, that's, that's a common one. Yeah, right. pull outs. But you can actually get them permanent, too, so. Right, right, right. Yeah, so. yeah no, no. I mean, I see them individually, but I don't, I've never seen it where it's all connected and permanent. Oh, what God, kind of shit would... they got here selling, man? Them shit's supposed to come together. That was, yeah. yeah. You, pull out, like, you got four to the bottom, eight to the bottom, shit like that. They call it. Oh, right, 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 right. But it's the, it's the genuine shape of the man's teeth. Yeah. But I'm it's... talking about where it has that bar over top, and then it's got gems on top of that, and it's got, like, I 
fucks with white bitches across that, and it's got all that shit. And you put them like one by one? No, you hit and you set them yeah, up. Yeah, like some dentures. Oh, yeah, it's like a put, one, it's like a, oh. like a four finger ring for your teeth. Oh, man. Oh, but top and, and bottom? Oh, they sell the bullshit. That's yeah, what I mean, they that's do. What they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> City and got them shit sent to us selling for three hundred and twenty dollars. Yo, we're we'll talking about that barbershop picture. Every barbershop has had that poster up since like the eighties and never updated it. They got everybody out here looking like goddamn kid and play. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think, well, hey, you know, hey, if you wait long enough, that shit comes back around. I'm actually seeing more high top fades now than I have in a while. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm seeing a lot of those nineties styles haircuts. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like looking at you right now, you look like you go to a Nirvana concert over there. Like you got like the man, I got, I got that's, like, that's, that's straight, that's straight 1990, 91. That whole setup you got right there. The I mean, maybe you ain't got the Pope. I mean, if you had the Pope, what you got on the Pope? Why do you have a shirt of the Pope? Because the Pope was fucking dope. Look, the Pope the Pope dope out. You got the chain. Yo, he was the first one with the pimp cup. If we keep it the real. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, that's real. Way before Lil John, it was a Pope's cup. You know what, but that's a good look yeah. out here. Ain't, ain't this like a real... Yo, his whole crib is shining. His whole crib looks like fucking C-3PO. Yeah, there's a huge yeah, contingency of Catholics in this area. Yeah, right? Like, they got four big-ass churches. That's how you know how many Catholics are in there. Baptist churches on the way, right? Oh, you get it. There's, there's probably 500 Baptist churches yeah, yeah, in no, this area. This, everybody in here is on some Jesus. Next topic! The way, the way we look at Miami is like the way people look at New York. So it's like, to us, it's like y'all are big city, highfalutin types. Now, when I go down to Miami, that's some bullshit. There's a lot, whole lot of city, fast-paced, crazy business. I, I am not wired for fucking Miami. Look, I'm not, Miami to me is taking a right on to one of them exits. It's, hey, get it! Oh. <laughs> now, if you go to Miami right now, the, the way you dress, they gonna think you automatically a pimp. Yeah. Like, oh, Hell yeah. yeah. You gotta have a Cadillac at that point. <laughs> That's that southern swag that we do around here. We go and buy our outfits at the suit store. Yeah, but that's right. And and that you know that's how we do. That's how that, we were talking about that last night about the South Florida. And I was asking, you know, what is the flavor in South Florida? Cause see, I'm I'm also keep in mind now. I'm also a guy that I heard there was this a few years back. Now things are getting better, but there was like uh, dress watches, uh, pocket squares, suits are are done. They're retired, they're old, put it away. And we're, we're gonna dress now with the shirt untucked over the, you know, and, and it's kind of a sloppy Yeah, look. man, yeah. people uh, wear suits because they can't dress anymore. So, right. I said, no, I'm, I'm almost there. I bought suits because I buy a nice watch, I buy a dress up, I dress up real, real proper, because to me, I'm looking for more of a, I'm always like the Dos Equis guy feel. That's kind of the feel I like to go with. I'm old and wise, and I'm like, don't do that and just step back and watch it happen because it's hard to tell these young people anything. And now my goal, my goal, and that's why I'm so blessed that you guys are here, I'm trying to bridge the gap between the mis miscommunications, misunderstandings between, because I'm not talking about you three, you guys are balling up here by yourself on some kind of a mission. I'm talking about there are some people that are young, 9, 18 to 23s. You're going to get to see them tonight when y'all leave out of here. I'm, I, by the way, I'm thinking about riding with y'all. Well, I'm gonna be honest, man. We was in, uh, we was up in Gainesville, and I was around a lot of 18 to 23 year olds earlier. So I feel like I got in my warm up. Right, right, right. right. Early part of the no, shout out to the University of Florida, real quick, man. We had a great time out there, man. Great, great place great. to Uber. Yeah, it was an adventure. With yeah, it was great, man. Uh, All the dudes up there look like Tim Tebow. <laughs> <laughs> well, they bring them out there to look like yeah, that. They bring them out there. They feed, they feed them the good green okay. hay. Maybe I was pissed. <laughs> Shit, but it's cool, you know. It was good, you know. Shout out to him. I didn't go to jail, so we did it. It was awesome at that point. Yeah, man, it was dope, man. We like this whole vibe. Like, it's really different out here, to be quite honest. Is you know, and obviously we look like we're not from here, but everybody's been real cool. That, you look like you're not from here. Well, nah, I look yeah. like I'm not from here too. Yeah, you pretty much yeah, look like it's you're obvious. From here. You, you can totally real, blend it. I think you can pretty much blend in in every circle right now. Yeah, you, I can you, blend in almost anywhere. You cross cut across. You you reach it everywhere. Middle America is like I can relate to that outfit. Yeah, man, I'm versatile. You are all things to all people. Yeah, he's he's good for the South, 
You know, he's just about as about southern part of the United States. Let's take him in New York with Cowboys. This guy, yeah. you know, this yeah. guy right here, I'm, listen, I totally get he's it. He's definitely like West Coast. Like, definitely you'll blend perfectly with California. Oh, this guy? Yeah. See, I feel like he would. You know, that's better. funny. A lot of people say that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. See, I feel like that's Atlanta. That's just, nah, 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 this is this is straight L.A. <laughs> nah. You know, left of me. Nah. Like, Do you want to wear bands and shit? That's that California shit. Yeah, nah, that's that's right. Right. Yeah, I'm straight up, I'm straight up like, like, With the, with the, yeah. the tone yeah, he's, def- and, he's definitely versatile. He's, he fits in like. I'm good as any hood, yeah. man. Like, yeah, you're good. Uh, <laughs> I know how to talk to everybody, too, so I'm, I'm all right. Next topic. When we were coming here, um, the, you know, the things that really caught my attention is as soon as we came in, well, I didn't notice that, but that was more of a We saw a restaurant called Oh Gosh, what was it? Uh, uh, oh, oh Shucks. Oh yeah, Shucks. Shucks. Oh, yeah, I was like, what oh, the hell is what that? What are you telling me? It's the oyster spot. Yeah, well, we, you know, that's Shucks just a oyster. term you don't hear every day, so we were like, what the hell is Oh Shucks? You know, check this out over in the St. Pete, Matamba area, there's this Korean restaurant called Bitch Nigga. What? Swear to God, it's famous as fuck, dude, because it means something in their language. And what's funny is you go to Yelp and you go in the reviews. It means and, something in my language. And the dude said, "They ain't no reason, ain't no reason they ain't wearing this spot, but it's it's, <laughs> it's, it's a fa- and it's in the hood too. I want to go on record. It's a famous spot. It was called Bitch Nigga. Bitch Nigga. Oh no, nah, you get fucked up like that. Yeah, no, nah, nah, yeah, that's not. Nah, that's how you get no, fucked no, up. That, yeah, oh, really? that, that, and that's but it's, they'll just throw that at the end of an insult. Of and and Ryan, I'm just yeah, like, yeah. Oh. you are ugly, like seven insults, and it's ended with that. Oh, bitch nigga. Oh, bitch nigga. What you talking about? Like, it's just, it's just, it is not good. It's not well, good. I mean, we also had a Lucy Hose. So, I mean, you know, it just depends who takes what word wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, no, you, yeah, you can. <laughs> you pick and choose at that point. You don't see things like that every day. Nah, hell, hell man. man. But you know what I mean? Like, you don't see Y'all eat like, Chinese in Miami? Yeah, but we got a spot called Fuck Yeah, yeah Miami. Fuck it, we do what? Yeah. Y'all eat Chinese food out of Miami? Yeah, that's what, that's not like, like all this game. Right. Do you eat Chinese food in Miami? Do you eat yeah. Chinese food? Do you eat yeah. Chinese food? I eat Chinese food anyway. I've ever, yeah, but specifically because all I've ever heard from my father is up here since, what, 81. Con yo. Can't eat Chinese food around here. It's not like Miami. Nah. It's just like in Miami, you got Cuban people. They're cooking up shrimp and throwing fucking eggs in it. Yeah, <laughs> Body slamming it. You guys putting a special fried rice? Right? Well, you know, Yo, there's no just, Chinese people out here. It's just, it's just some white guy that took a trip once. Oh, I thought Orlando was covered with it. No, no, no. Well, we're not in Orlando. We're an hour from Orlando. And don't get it twisted. These people don't speak English for fuck. They're as Asian as fucking me. But they just going to pull back a little, try to make as much little little extra money, pennies equal dollars. Yeah. And Lord knows they know how. I mean, not in a bad way, but immigrants know how to separate that money. So they know, take this little bit of seasoning out, give us this much, you know. I don't fuck with so, that Chinese food. Man, let me tell you that we actually, funny we were talking about pastelitos, and that's what we brought you, by the way. We figured, you know, we were coming from Miami, we wanted to bring you some pasta. Dude, that something, something that represented Miami. No doubt. You know, and I know you won't see out here every day. And we kind of proved it to ourselves today earlier. We, we, we went out, and on the way out, we stopped by, uh, we saw a sign for a Cuban bakery. Yo, yeah, by the way, there's no way to eat a pastelito without getting a bunch of crumbs. So this isn't some out of the usual shit that's happening right now. <laughs> like, if you eat a pastelito and drive, you're gonna have an accident that way. Yeah, if not, they gotta make that. Sh- they gotta make that shit illegal in Miami. Fuck testing. No eating pastelitos and driving. <laughs> they should. Like it's like you walk, like if you don't even pay attention, if you eat them without a napkin under you or some sort of protection, you'll look and you'll be like, oh man, you got like all these little like flakes on your shirt, mm-hmm. and then when you try to like dust them off, they you smear. forgot that they glazed. Yeah. They so smear. they kind of smear on your shirt, mm-hmm. and now you've made like some like three D looking like sparkles. Right. Like, no, they look like you put the nut all over yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like someone just got hit with a pie, but you just left some like residue of it on your chest. Like it's bad. Like these pastelitos get messy. But we went to this one bakery that you guys had here. And we go inside, we ordered, because we wanted some coffee. We saw the pastelitos, we bought them. We got a pastelito de guayaba. I forgot what else we got. Not a tequeño. A tequeño. And man, when we took a bite into them things. Oh, it's not the same. Yeah. Like, it was cheap as hell, which was cool. <laughs> and and I, got, I got to speak Spanish today for a couple minutes, which I need, I need to speak Spanish every day just to keep that working, because if not, I feel like I'm, my grandma's being put to shame. <laughs> right. So I just need like about five minutes of Spanish. It is. Like, you know, something that 
I didn't know I didn't know that we shared all this and we kind of realized that yesterday when we leave Miami you immediately feel like you're like gotten homesick syndromes so you try to look for stuff that's relatable oh we got excited as fuck when we found a Spanish radio station yes. we, was, we pull up to the village and listen to fucking Celia Cruz and shit yeah we felt pretty good like cause we just if we see something Spanish or hear something Spanish yeah in Miami even if you're like a Jew from Miami you're like a quarter Hispanic already exactly Exactly. So, like, us being down up here, that's what we were looking for, like, immediately. So, when we pulled up with Spanish, we felt good. Ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind, they're four hours from home. They make it sound like they got it from the other side of the world. They're like, we flew in here. Yeah, well, well can't get it yeah, look. acclimated to the climate. I know this sounds crazy. <laughs> I can see what you're talking about, but what well, I, I had to drink an airborne. I don't know what kind of fucking foreign shit they all had out here. Exactly. <laughs> like, listen, we don't know what it's like to speak English a whole day. Oh, that's insane. Yes. Usually like, I don't speak English till I do stand up at night. Right. <laughs> like yo. Like I'll speak Portuguese. Do you speak Spanish? Hmm? Do you speak Spanish? Poquito. Uh huh. But you understand. You know someone talking shit about you in Spanish. I'm you, yeah, yeah. I, I understand. Well, you kind of have to work if you grew up down there, right? As you can yeah. see, he's he's you, 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 you know how to dance Spanish music, right? don't you? Yeah. No, you know how to dance Spanish music. He's music's exposed yeah. to us, so yeah. like the food is very much yeah, yeah, man. for him. I'm, I'm Spanish, man. Yeah, yeah. So, from Miami, he's Cuban as fuck. He's, yeah, he's adopted Cuban. Right. Now nah, you like adopted Colombian. No, don't don't let him do that to you. Don't let him. Hey, wait, no, no, hey, y'all man. never do that to me. No, no, no. I'm a Mexican if you come to that type of well, that's true. He does love Mexicans. And I do. I do. I Mexicans are good people. Especially yeah, like Miami Mexicans. Yeah, they're good people, man. Yeah. They're my people, man. But you know what? Us being like down there is just when we leave past the point of West Palm Beach, it seems sometimes. And not even really when you pass like the Fort Lauderdale area, mm -hmm. you are exposed to what we call America. Like, see, yeah, with, with like multiple K's and shit. Right. And like, I, you know, I can't live 30 minutes, more than like 30 minutes away from some chicharron de pollo. If not, like, this shit ain't gonna work right Right. Now. I mean, when you start seeing less and less Hispanics per square mile or per square block, it just feels really weird to us. Cause and what, what's up with this guy? Next topic! I saw something when we were coming, and it's like, it's kind of like a blue light on yeah. the side, right? Mm -hmm. I was reading it, I was trying to figure out, it said poking or poker. You know I what? It's like a hooker. That right there. Fun. Listen. Oh, Oxford Downs, this is a message to you. I can't tell what your sign says from the road, and he just backed me up. It's a little fuzzy. Put a backboard behind it, you'll be good. I've been the, I'm in the business, I know, but trust me, guys, you put a lot of effort putting that gigantic fucking sign in the air. Put a little something behind it, you straight. I'm it's the be blue. Disrespectful, but like, was that like a hooker house or something? No, that's that's the Oxford Downs. That's the casino. Why? 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 Because it's a hooker. Why would you do that? It is no. like the hooker. Houses have red lights. Everybody knows that. Yeah, but they're trying to well, live in a different <laughs> town. I don't know. It might have been like, you know, you guys are doing things different here. I mean, I've already heard that the village is kind of like a bunch of 40 white people. Yeah, I don't all know what lights for that. All, all people. So, like, no, you know what I mean? I don't want to. Across everywhere, the entire world, red lights mean ass. No, red lights red, in my red light mean that you can't do heroin there. Because <laughs> they got the red bull, so you can't find the vein when you try to shoot them. <laughs> Man, look, listen, you turn at that light and you go for like almost a mile on this road with no lights. Which, by the way, Oxford Downs, y'all need to light that shit up for Uber drivers. It looks a little creepy, but I know it's at the end of the road. You get to the end, dude, and then there it is. A fucking casino in the back of a, of a produce farm. So they gotta do something about that light, they though. Brand, right, they do need to do something about I'm not about to go look like that, I'm going to the end of nowhere to gamble. Dude, that's some <laughs> shit, like, though, for this town. That's the shit that blows me away about this town. Nothing. I'll give you another stupid example. Okay. Marion County Civic Theater had to wait for over five years to get the script for Chicago because they had to go through a huge process to get approved for that script. That's how important the script for Chicago is. The fucking the musical? Yeah. Damn, I think my high school did the that. The local, the local play group in the villages made one phone call and the script.
script was sent with one of the producers because they wanted to film it because the village is so famous. So what? This town's got like real yo, retired, powerful it's people. Retired, that powerful first. Picture a million addresses, and the average income across the board is a hundred thousand a year. Now that means a lot of them make a half a million and up a year. Some of them make thirty thousand a year. But for that many people, the average, the average is hundred thousand a year. That's every year retired. They make that money retired. So the deal is, and what I like about this area, and this is one of the reasons this podcast exists, is because that means you have a million people that have stories that were professionals with long stories from every walk of life, military, security, entertainment, uh, fucking um, uh, Aerosmith's mom and dad live here, the, the lead singer. Um, oh, really? Lived, uh, what's his name, Tyler, Steven Tyler's Damn, parents Damn, Steven here. Tyler's old as fuck. Uh, his parents gotta be ancient. Yeah, yeah. Re- Reba McIntyre yeah, like Reba McIntyre lives in the back of the community, but not- Reba McIntyre lives here? Yeah, John Travolta lives Wait, in Cal. who's Reba McIntyre? Country singer. Country singer, Is man. that the, the one from the TV show? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Reba. Reba. Yeah, I only know her by her first name. Shit. Let me tell you something, man. Bro. Don't you feel like y'all can just go up to the door and ask her, you want to go to Yard Salem? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, this She's just so down to earth. She gives people, I, I stood right here with her. She was right here. I was at Fight Night, Wednesday Night O'Malley's. Fuckers, y'all need to bring that shit back. Wednesday Night O'Malley's. And I'm like a VIP, watches this. and I'm watching the fucking <laughs> fight, and I look down, I doubt it. and there's a lady back in town with a hat pulled over, hat pulled over, her hair, hair back, hat pulled over her eyes. She loved watching the fight. And I look down, and she looks up, she goes, I go. And I didn't say a word just so she could enjoy the rest of the fights, because if I'd have said something, the night would have been over. You know how it goes, Pitbull. So, yes. listen, man, I would have told the girl, I would have told Reba, like, hey, listen. I ain't want to say nothing out loud anyway. I'm trying to find out what you do later. Nah. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get into that. That's, yeah. that's residual income right there. Yeah, that's what I'm that's trying like to say. Fucking, that's like you, 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 you put a kid in that, that's like syndication. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you, homie. Like, listen, that's when you're good in life. You call your friends and be like, I made it. I'm sitting back Yo, down, Reba, doing anything. If you watch this. Try to give it to you, ma. Yeah, for real. Hey, look, any any village older ladies that are out here that got that type of income, social media out there, they're gonna come get you. Yo, (laughs) what's up? I'm I'm trying to go to grad school, pay for that. I I, I got mediocre to good dick. (laughs) (laughs) I got some backup child support bills you can help me with, baby. I love you right back. I mean, I don't. You you don't look like you like older woman. I don't even know. Oh, don't put me at risk, though. You know older woman is? It's no, a woman who's older. No, I just don't know who y'all are talking about. Like, what, like, you know, no, just, overall. You said, what color lady y'all are talking oh, about? Whichever one you want, you can pick a color. Oh, I don't care. I, I don't discriminate. No, no, I'm just asking. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what y'all are talking about. You know what I'm saying? Wait a second. Sure. You saying what kind of color is it, and then they say anything you want, and you say it really doesn't matter at this point. It's the same as him saying I don't want to say anything rude, no, but no, then no, he no. said something rude. No, no, no. I'm just gonna be honest. No, no, no. It seems like y'all trying to Wait. skip the question, mm-hmm. so I'm like it doesn't matter at this point. But, oh, yeah. yeah. My bad. Yeah. yeah. It was like it was, yeah. And it's funny how people like, like, yeah. like, whatever, whatever. You have a That's I don't. I don't. I was just asking. I didn't know who y'all was talking about, so that's why I asked. That's his oh, this is, I, I, you guys want to get problematic? What if we ranked ethnicities of women? I feel like I feel like the internet would like that. To rank them? To rank. Oh, so Latin is number one, bro. Like, what are All you day? Really, really Time out. Wait, wait, wait. What are we doing? Is this official? Nah, don't do it like that. Don't do it like that. I don't like that. Let's get a little racial right there. Let's get a little racial. Hey, no, I don't. Let me get racial on my own people. Let me get racial on my own people. I don't fuck with Latin women. Really? I don't. That's why I'm asking, are you fucking with them like one night physical boom? Or are you talking about well, long no, they're the greatest of all time. They're yeah, right. man, like wait. I mean, yeah, again, we gotta go right back to the point that we're from Miami. No, no, it's not that. It's not that. Latin women or to so big women or one. black well, people are to be basketball that. players. See? Basically. Look, I mean, um, see, I guess, now, yeah. see now, see, we should never even win here. I should never even ask that question. I should just forget. I should just agree. How about, how about shapes? Because we were actually oh, talking we about this last We were talking about physicalities, not color. Um, I don't mind colors, just so long as you don't surpass my height. I got a pretty high number. Oh, yeah, I don't. Just, just don't height? surpass my weight. No, my height? No, that's fine. Like I said, I, we, we talked about this once on our, our podcast. You uh, say you like ogres. Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, like I'll, 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 I'll sleep with the WNBA chick if I have. To. Oh, yo, like, I don't care. Nah, that's that's the same thing. I'll raise that child. That, that's yeah, we went that's over this. You know what I mean? Like we're, we're yeah. talking like aspiring, like that's baby the next daddy, like, right there. baby daddy. Yeah, what's that show that? Basketball wives? No. We want yeah, basketball, be basketball Hollywood. husbands. Husbands yeah. of Hollywood. No, we're about to be basketball husbands. No, we don't even show. make any money. Oh, the, the real husbands. Real husbands. That's yeah. what I was actually thinking. Yeah, no, no, no. We're we're actually we're the, WNBA husbands. Yeah, yeah. yeah See, we're. I, 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 I will not date a woman that's taller than me. No. But I don't. No? I don't do relationships either. Uh, but that's an age and wisdom thing. So that's all y'all to do that thing if y'all want. But I don't. I walk the earth like kung fu. So my whole thing is, is I'm down with relationships like friendships, mm-hmm. but I don't get solid anymore. The too many hearts and bad credit has happened too much in my life for them. I'm tired of fucking up women's hearts and credit. That's the that was what I was trying to say. So my game plan now is. Damn, this motherfucker really is a pimp. Yeah, he is a pimp. He is a pimp. <laughs> yeah, I told you, the guy, he's yeah. I'm so tired of the emotional. It like draws you down like an anchor to the bottom of the ocean, man. I can't. I don't. I don't want that. I don't want that responsibility. I don't want that accountability anymore. No bullshit. So that being said, Spanish women are a little too hype. And- he ran out of shit to say, so it's time to go. Yeah. That, that, that. All right. So give you guys yourselves your plugs. I'm before. I'm hoping that we can get one more chop before y'all head home or before we go out tomorrow to that room. I don't know what your plans are. We'll talk about it because the one part about the show that I don't want to miss is the message to the universe. Everybody has to give a message to the universe, which basically means something you want to tell five generations of your family if things keep going the way they are, or if you have something to tell somebody today, if something you learned, hey, in case you didn't know, watch out for, you know, or if you want to tell somebody coming up. So we'll do that tomorrow, but let's go ahead and just put out your social media. I'll be quite honest. We can do that, like, I bet you money. Oh, we can do it as we can talk seconds. ourselves. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, watch. You got eight minutes. You, you got, go first. You got seven Say minutes. Say a message to your kids from the future. My kids? Yeah, generations from if now. If I'm not dead. You are if dead. If you're listening to point. this, if you listen to this right now, just follow your dreams and everything that you love. Keep on going at it, man. Don't let nobody tell you different. And that's all I got to say. It's not what you know, it's who you know. That's all I got to say. Well, it's both. It's who you know and what you know. That's what you need to know, kids. It's who you know. And what you know, fucking do something, learn something today, fucking stupid ass. That's your message to you? That's my message to my children and people. Right. you got anything else you want to say? Um, <laughs> I have a waffle maker. Yo, waffle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is my message to my kids for generations from now. Uh, whatever you heard or seen, it wasn't true. I saved villages. I've built schools with my bare hands. Um, people love me. They say Jesus is number one, but I'm right behind him. Um, you over Allah. And I am the original pit bull. The other one was born later, so that's my title. So remember that. And uh, I hope you guys are still doing good and this earth is still existing. Um, and you're not on another planet listening to this because it'll be really weird because He's wearing a scarf, and I don't know if that'll be in like five generations from now. But regardless, it's not in now. <laughs> but regardless, I always know that it's I love you. Me. I love you, and uh, you can follow me on Instagram, J dot Everyman, Facebook, John Everyman. I don't know if you can follow these guys. I'm not truly sure about it. You can check out our show on SoundCloud for now. We'll update the other man avenues show. pretty soon. Everyman Every show man. on SoundCloud. These are my Find two co-hosts, Mateo, Mr. Goodnight with two T's. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram on the Everyman Show, um, even on Facebook, Everyman Show. Um, again, shout out to Wake and Vape Studio. Shout out to our city down there in Miami, 305. We love you. We'll be oh, back home soon. Shout out to all the potential sugar mamas that are out here in the villages. You, you could just hit me up to the show's DMs. Yeah. Send um, dudes. Any old lady out there that has a hell of a credit score and over a hundred thousand dollars like he said with Actually, the Actually, fuck the dudes. Just send Rick a picture of your bank account. It's the same thing. One of us is happy about being with you. Um, so the ones that are clean, that message went out to. Ooh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I'm, so. I'm, I'm just saying. Don't just, put that I, boy I, at risk. I heard he things. Live with herpes. Alleged things. I've heard alleged things. And, uh, um, also, any WNBA woman checking this out. Hey, anybody, be if you fuck John, let him know. Right. Yeah. John's out here looking for a. I'll be quite honest.
honest, my list is a lot <laughs> deeper. Um, some of the STD ones, just let so me know look, what you have. Basically, <laughs> we'll see what's up. In the Venn diagram of all humans, everybody that don't have STDs don't hit John up. But besides <laughs> that, if you fuck John, he doesn't. Let him know. My my dick name is Triple X because I feel like I look more like Vin Diesel than I do Pitbull. Cut. Cut. All right, the show's over. <laughs> All right, last but definitely not least, uh, to my future generations, what you heard, it was worse, and I'm sorry. You know, hey, you just gotta live with the good and the bad. So, Universe, thank you for all you do. Keep on liking, subscribing, tell your friends. Love, peace, chicken grease, social media, same shit. Alex Soto on Facebook, Articulate Barbarian fan page, Articulate Barbarian on Instagram, Articulate Barbarian podcast on YouTube, Every Man Show, Mr. Goodnight with two T's like an Audi. And, and and what did you say was the other name? I love the the AKA. Oh, Puto Pueblo. AKA, no, nah, it's not Puto Pueblo. It's, <laughs> it's Pipa Puente, Plogo Calderon, Cash and Kutcher. That's the one I like. That's one, Cash and Kutcher. Love, peace, chicken grease. We out. Yeah. Oh, we got, they, they said they ain't cutting the lights off. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was just making you don't sure. pay me enough. Yeah, the sound guy says it's over. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't even care if I got nothing to do with the electricity. I'm just out of here.